What is going on guys, today we are looking at Zola, the prime icon, he's 90 rated, a 4 star, 4 star genius who is 5'6 with a high medium, the first prime icon SBC we've had, right footed, um, uh, stat wise looks pretty good. Finesse outside of the foot and flair, which is always fantastic. A good career on him. Like I say, four star, four star. Now, he's got eight requirements, so a little bit more expensive. We have got the bronze and silver, an 82, an 83, and an 84, 85. So, again, them four, to be fair to them, aren't that difficult to give up. Obviously, foot champs players can be used. And an 86 and an 88. To be fair to him, that really isn't terrible. So, I'm very interested to see... Does he play very similar to Del Piero? Um, because if he does, then he is definitely going to be worth it. Um, I think in terms of chemistry style, well, we've got good pace on him. Obviously, that could do with a little bit of an upgrade. Finishing's already at top end. Shot power's nice. Long shot's good. Passing-wise, again, pretty solid. Agility balance, I suppose. Maybe you're looking at an engine or a hawk. We will check footbin out in a second, and we're going to finish his loan off, obviously, so we can get his review done instantly. But the traits are looking good. Attributes looking good. And to be fair, the price doesn't look terrible. We will see that at the overall. So let's jump into him, see what he can do for us. So let's have a look how Zola is then. Like I say, Del P, in terms of how he plays, was normally pretty good. Can we find him on... Okay, that's a bit of a botched pass there but in terms of Del P very quick very agile nice on the ball so I'm expecting Zola to be very very similar Zola linking up with Messi nicely finds the through ball can we find anything on his right foot we're going to turn it back into Zola but Schultz is going to be there back to him fires a right foot but Donnarumma is going to get that one see looking for Zola he's the one problem I think we're going to really have with him being a lone striker is he is incredibly weak on the ball and that's something Del P seemed to really work well with Zola again searching for Messi doesn't necessarily find him but he finds Hakimi who's going to get tackled again Zola again managing to keep hold of it this time finds the little one two with Messi Little shimmy, but Kimpembe is phenomenal at getting that ball back. Vieira trying to take dispossess Essien, but unfortunately, oh, nearly. He's got lovely dribbling on him, but like I say, in terms of his, his body strength, it's really not there. Into Zola again. Can we find a pass? It's a very hard off one. I think for me, that one definitely needed to be just a little, a little one more touch, and it might have been able to. He's linking up very nicely with Messi. And again, oh, can we get that through? I feel like he was going to be offside at that point. It's managed to do well to hold the ball. And I think for me at this moment in time, just kind of seeing what impact Del P had to start with, I feel like I was definitely more surprised at what Del P could do rather than Zola at this moment in time. But there's still definitely time for uh, Zola to impress me more and more. Let me find that little ball out. He's going to try and find Zola. Which is too heavy. Should have went with a shot with Draxler. Zola, good save. There it is. Oh, Zola nearly. Zola again finds a bit of Messi. Back into him. Takes the first touch. And Ariola with a cracking save. Zola. Ariola, to, to be fair to him, I, I think it's a, a very hard opponent at the moment. Again, twice in a row. But I do think that he's just not quite it on this one. I think definitely two strikers are needed to really get the best out of him. So we're going into Zola's overall review then. So his price on his SBC, bronze and silver disregarded, probably what, say 15,000 for the 82 because of the inform. 83, probably about 20, 84. I'd say about 30 to 40, depending on when you buy him. The 88 is going to be quite expensive at 200. So we've got at least 300 there, 350. And then we say uh, probably coming in at around about 400 so to be fair to him not a bad price obviously it's coming in relatively symbol to where his price is at the moment and obviously he is already a prime in the game he's not been out too long and i think he was in the first set rather than the second so he's had a little bit more time than them bases coming out on yeah the, the, the 16th of december so uh, i think he's okay but I personally would definitely prefer Del P. Um, in terms of icons, I think there's plenty of strikers out there for the same sort of price. Obviously, this one's the first SBC. But if we're looking at kind of prime icons, 
what are we looking for? He's kind of coming in the same sort of value as a Del P, to be fair to him. And I think for me, Del P was definitely better in, in just himself. He felt better and just played with a, just a little bit more style. And I do think with Zola, he definitely needs a kind of partner. Maybe even a Cam one might do him quite well. Other than that, I think a solo striker, he's just not got enough in him. His physicality really let him down. And that was something that I knew going into it that it was low. But for me... I just thought it was a little bit better than what it was going to be. 57-64 is not enough to be a lone striker. The composure on a, a almost 400k player is definitely not enough. Other than that, I think he is a, an all-round good card in terms of pace, shooting, dribbling, and passing. Um, but I think there is far too many things that are just letting him down that is slight. He's got good traits, a good 4-star, four 4-star, four 5, 6. So you're always expecting maybe to not have the strength. But for me, I think it's, again, another no-go. I'd say the only one that really you'd be looking at is potentially a cheeky little George Best. So for me, overall for Zola... I'm going to give him a solid 7.5. I don't think he's anything more than that. And I would 100% recommend going for a Del P over, obviously, this guy, in my opinion. I'd probably even put him just over in Zagin Vieri. And that's kind of saying something because them two, for me, are just, they are fodder from the get-go. They don't really do too much in-game. And some people might be able to, but for me, he's just not quite there. So overall, we're giving him a 7.5. I think the SBC... It could be worth crafting untradeable, but I really wouldn't go full into it. I'd be looking at what they bring out in terms of the daily SBC players, like the Mullers, like the Vieira, if you're still doing that one. I think they're 100% more worth it than putting nearly 400k worth of fodder into this one. So let me know down below what you think. Make sure you do like and subscribe, and i catch you all for the next one.